goodness. Chua, mm. what are you doing? Why are you eating in a dustbin? This is me now. I lost my money. I lost my job, my car, my house. This is where I found myself. No way, I reject it for you in Jesus' name. It can never be your portion. What? What do I tell my friends? What about our wedding? What do I tell my fans on social media? What do I tell them? No, now. You can't lose your job. Get out from this place. Leave this place. There's no money for wedding. Tell them that there's no money for wedding. This is where I am now. This is where I found myself. So this is where I'm going to be. Joy, no, no. Joy, stop it. You it can't was be. a good Samaritan that gave me this to, 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 to eat. No. Joel, no, no, no. Get up, get up from this place. Let's leave this place. Jesus, this place is dirty. This is this is trash. This is dust pain. Joel! Joel, get up. What is it? Why why are you screaming? Okay. No. I had a nightmare. Oh God. May my dream never come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. What are you talking about? What, what, what did you see? Never mind. It's just a dream. Did you take loan or borrow money from any company that is capable of seizing your property if you don't pay back? Maybe you should know me by now. I don't do loans. Tell me, what did you see? Never mind. It's just a dream. Baby, please promise me that no matter what happens, our dream wedding will hold. I have bragged about this wedding to my friends, both offline and online. I've told everyone about it. I cannot afford to be embarrassed if the wedding doesn't hold. Promise me my dream wedding will hold. Baby, our wedding is in a few months, okay? I promise nothing's gonna happen. Can we just go back to sleep? I want to sleep. So your breakfast is ready? Ah, oh, baby, I'm running late. I have a meeting. I can't have breakfast. At least have a slice of bread and tea. Sip. Don't go on an empty stomach. Barge into my office like that. Have you lost it? Um, I'm so sorry, Ma. But I, I saw this letter in my office that made me rush here. And? This is a sack letter. And also asking me to drop my car key and vacate the apartment the company gave me in the next 48 hours. Ma, did I do anything wrong? Joe, as the CEO of this company, I have the right to employ and sack anyone at any time. Well, I ordered the manager to drop the sack letter in the office because you've chosen to be ungrateful and foolish. Do you know what it cost me to keep this company running since my father's departure? Do you know my what? Do you know the number of wealthy men that are begging and dying just to have me on their bed? When I offered my body to you free of charge, and what did you do? You turned me down. With a silly excuse that you have a girlfriend. Well, now that you're a free man, you can go and be with your girlfriend. Get Ma, out. Ma, please. I, I don't, 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 don't do this to me. I have been so loyal to this company. I have given this company my all. I am only trying to be a faithful man to his woman. 
It's against my principles to cheat. Well, it is also against my principle to keep ungrateful souls around me. What have I not promised you? I promised to increase your salary and give you instant promotion. If only you won my bed. But you refused. Oh, come on, Joel. You're not a, you're not a kid. Joel, listen to me. I am not asking you to be my sex toy. Neither am I asking you to get married to me or leave your girlfriend. I just want to have a taste of you, that's all. Uh, Ma, what, you, what you're asking me is too much. Look, ask me to do anything and I'll do it, but this is it's just too hard for me. Uh, please. Well, I taught you were wise. I didn't know you were foolish. You're about to lose everything you've worked for because of a girl. Not even your wife. Now get out. Ah, Ma. Get out! Please, now, please. Ma, please. I, I, I... Get out! You want me to call the security? No, 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 no. Get I, out! I, I, I'm leaving, sorry. And why are you going to with the car key? Didn't you read the sack letter properly? Drop the key ah. on the table. Ma, please. Now get out. As a nice voice, I gave you enough time to think about it. And when you get back to your senses, you'll be my children too. But for now, get out. Hello, Sophia. Please, I need you to come to my office right now. Babes, my wedding is going to be the talk of town. In fact, my wedding is going to be the best in the world. Every family in every home will talk about my wedding. Because hmm, hmm. my man will spend so much money. An interior decorator is going to be flown from abroad, from Miami to be precise, to decorate the venue. Wow. There's going to be plenty of money flying around. I can't wait. My fans in all my social media platforms mm. will feel the hit. Mm. Like seriously? Mm. Your man truly loves you. How I wish I can have a man like yours. Look, I'm not done yet. Let me show you something. See this wedding gown? This wedding gown is 10 million naira. It's beautiful. That's what my man is going to get for me. You know he's capable. Hey, I'm going to be looking so gorgeous on that great day. The federal government will have to <laughs> declare my wedding a public holiday because he go choke. Everybody go collect. They will feel the heat. I can't wait. I can't wait. My goodness. Just going to get a very expensive outfit. You know now. You know what's up. All my girls are going to be looking that, you know, that day. I trust you. You know now. Mm -hmm. Wait, excuse me.
Why are you looking like this? Where's your car? Talk now. Imela, I am back to square one. I reject it for you in Jesus' name. You cannot be back to square one. What are you talking about? I lost everything. I was welcomed with a circle attack in the office this morning. They took the car and they've asked me to vacate this apartment in the next 48 hours. What? No. <sighs> Don't tell me my dream is about to become a reality. What will happen to our wedding plans? What, what do I tell my friends? I, goodness, how do I hide my face in shame? Jewel, you're joking, right? Tell me it's a prank. Jewel. Problem. Your fiance looks so sad. Did he lose someone? You must understand. Linda, you mean you finally sacked that guy? Sophia, you should know me by now. I don't say things I won't do. I told you I would sack him if he continues to make me look stupid. Can you imagine? I offered my body to that guy on a platter of gold and he turned me down like I stink. If not that I know my worth and my value, he would have made me start feeling less of myself. I'm not even asking him to get married to me. No, far from that. I just want to have a taste of him, that's all. Linda, since you always have this urge of making love, why not just get a dildo and stop belittling yourself to these boys? Oh, please, I have all of that. I have dildo, I have vibrators. But you can't compare that with a man. Listen to me. I love the touch of a man. And I like this guy so much. You won't understand. Do you know the most shocking thing about this whole thing? That a typical Nigerian man chooses to leave his job, his car, his apartment, everything just because he doesn't want to cheat on his girlfriend. I wonder. Girlfriend or not even a wife. Girl, are you sure that guy is a Nigerian man? He's a Nigerian, please. Digiot is a Nigerian. He's just trying to be stupid this time around. I guess he wants the foremost faithful boyfriend of the year. And I will make him suffer. I mean, I could remember how this guy came to my company. Begging and crying for a job. I polished this guy up. I gave him a job, a car, and even my company's apartment. And he doesn't want to comply. I'll make him suffer. Well, I guess you have to show him who the boss lady is. Sure, definitely. Mm, so he can suffer all he wants. Uh -huh. okay. I've given him just 48 hours. Yeah. Mm. 48 hours to think about the consequence. If not, he's going to suffer. But I envy the girlfriend, you know. She's blessed with a man made in heaven. If it was my boyfriend, Dennis. Ha! He would have jumped on this off a long time ago and dumped my ass. I'm telling you, he still is. I, who rejects something as sweet as you? I don't understand. Hmm? Honestly speaking, I was shocked. I was so surprised when he dropped the car keys on my table. For a while, I thought he was joking. But like I said, I want to believe he's joking. He's hmm. going to come around. Joel, are you a child? What is there in sleeping with your boss? What? For just a night. 
Yes, stop looking at me as if I've said something strange. You would have just done this thing. Hmm? Do you know that we won't sleep with your boss without letting me know? This house we live in, she gave it to you. Okay, if you lose your job now, how do we survive? Where will money come from? Hey. I mean, I think you should sleep with her. It's just one night. Do it. Melda, are you asking me to cheat on you? No, you're encouraging me to do this? I'm not encouraging you to cheat. I'm asking you to sleep with your boss to protect your job. You need money now. If you lose your job and you don't have money anymore, how do we sponsor our wedding? My dream wedding. The wedding I have been thinking about, I have been talking about to everyone. Another. What is with you on this wedding? I just told you I have lost everything and all you can think about is wedding, wedding, wedding. I am not going to go against my principles because of this so-called wedding. Cheating is against my principles. And I put it to you, that you and my boss, you set me up to know the kind of man that I am, but it will not work. It will not work. Let me ask you, Joel. Who is this woman that you don't want to cheat on? Is it not me? Am I not the woman? And I'm asking you to cheat. I am giving you the full permission to cheat. Sleep with your boss. It's just for a night. Do it so we can have money. Sleep with her. You're crazy. Imelda, you are insane. You have lost it. One of those screws in your head has gone off. You've gone loco. I lost everything. I lost the car, my job, and I've been asked to vacate from this apartment in the next 48 hours. About this crazy thing. This is insane. I don't know how you see. It's far from that. I, I I did nothing. Look, I don't want to talk about it. Right now I am job hunting. I just want to know if. I can get a job in your company. Take me away. Oh my god. Okay, um, please. If by any chance you hear of any company having a listing, please lobby for me because I'll be homeless in a few hours. Sure. Thank you. Why are you doing this to yourself? Look at how you're begging for job. You're begging. We already have a nice paying job that you can maintain. Just a simple task to do. Sleep with your boss so you can have your job back. Well, let me ask you. Do you think there are jobs anywhere? Do you know what people do on a daily basis to make money? Sleep with this woman now. Eh? I will not do it. My body is not for sale. It is like a temple to me. How can you ask me to sleep with my boss? It is not in my nature to cheat. I'd rather remain jobless than to do what you're asking me to do. Wait, Joel, are you okay at all? Cheat on who? Am I complaining? Eh? Ordinary simple task, you cannot do it. This woman is young and beautiful. Sleep with this woman. She's single, she's not married. Even you yourself, are you married? You're not married yet. Sleep with her now. Let me ask you this question. What, what point are you even trying to prove? The most faithful man on earth? Will your faithfulness put food on the table? Will it sponsor our wedding? Will it take care of my luxurious lifestyle and expensive trips abroad? Pick your phone, Joe, and call this woman. Go and sleep with her so you can have your job back. You know, I'm beginning to doubt this love you say you have for me. 
This love that you claim you have for me, I'm beginning to doubt it. Can you hear yourself speak? I am so disappointed. If you really want me to get my job back, why don't you go and sleep with my boss so that you can give me my job back? God. This woman is just stupid. The most foolish man I've ever come across. Just to sleep with this woman. It's as if she's ugly. Oh. She's fine and wealthy. That beautiful and wealthy woman I know wants to sleep with you and you detected the offer. Eh? What is wrong with you? See, I'm telling you something. You need to do this. Like, grab that opportunity, hold this so tight. Nobody will know about it. Okay? Daniel, if it's because of my woman you're speaking on a low tone, then I'm sorry to shock you. She is of the opinion I sleep with my boss. So there's no need. You guys are on the same page. I don't understand. You mean your girlfriend is in support of you sleeping with Linda? Yep. Hi. Bro, I swear, you have a good girlfriend. That is very, very understanding. If it was my wife, ah, <laughs> she would prefer me to lose that job and even go broke than sleeping with anybody. Can you imagine you? Look at your girlfriend wants you to sleep with Linda and you're here doing any help. Bro, grab this opportunity. Hold it tight. You make money from that lady. She has money. But what if it's a setup to prove my love for her? <laughs> There's nothing like a setup. See, she likes you. It's normal feelings now. Nah, uh -uh. Be really like somebody. Uh -uh. Dance to that tune now, bro. Grab this opportunity you're seeing now. I promise you, you will never regret it at all. There's no regrets in being faithful. Regret lives in unfaithfulness. Bro, I'm about to get married. If I cannot resist the temptations of cheating now, what will happen when I get married? I am not sleeping around for favors. Can we just talk about something else, please? Well, let me ask you this. What is more important than what we are discussing now? See, your wedding is fast approaching. And you need money for it. See, let me ask you this. What if you lose your apartment? You lose your car? Everything you have just because of your proven stuff that you don't want to do it. Imagine that your girlfriend leaves you now because of this situation now. This attitude you are misbehaving and doing whatever you want to do, and she leaves you. You find yourself to blame her. Don't say I didn't want you. Use this opportunity, grab it and hold it tight, bro. At the end, you enjoy it. But if you continue doing like this and you lose this opportunity, tomorrow I'll come back, I will tell you that I warned you. Wise up, bro. Wise up. You're no more that little boy you used to be. Where are you going to? I'm going to look for work. I'm going to look for work. Did you keep any job out there? Do you know how many people are on the street roaming, looking for jobs? Why are you doing this to yourself? Why are you pushing yourself into avoidable suffering? Do what you're asked to do and get back your job. Look, I'm not going to hold it against you. Just sleep with your boss and get back your job, okay? You are.
It's been four hours searching everywhere for a job, yet no vacancy. Is this what I'll be going through when I finally lose my job? Wandering about under the hot sun. This is crazy. I don't think I'm ready for this. I am not ready for this kind of suffering. I need to ask myself some real questions. Is it logical to remain a man of integrity on an empty stomach? Should I just do what Linda wants me to do? No. No. Let me continue searching. I can't give up so easily. out of my company's apartment and you're already looking this frustrated with a file in your hands. Well, I guess you saw the vacancy and you're here to apply for a job. <laughs> if you must know, my friend here owns this company, so let's see if you would get a job. Ah, uh, madam. Good afternoon. Uh, I, I came to apply for the, for the job. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> Well, I do not have a job for an ingrate like you. Yeah, there's nothing I can do to help you. You belong to the street, not here. Ah, madam, please. You can ask your friend. I, I am very good. She can attest to, 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 my, to my capabilities. Mm -hmm. If you employ me in your company, I promise you, I, I will make you proud. Same way you made my company proud by stealing from my company's account. What? Is it because I did not arrest you? Madam, you know I did not steal from your company. You know why you sacked me. You're still talking. Why would I steal from your company? Oh, you shut, shut, shut up. You're still arguing. No, you're still arguing. You know, you're such an ungrateful human being. This, my friend, did everything for you in that company. Gave you a good salary, a good car, and an apartment to live in. And a woman who did all these things for you just asked you for a simple favor. Just a very tiny one. But what did you do? You refused. You turned her down. Huh? Tell me, what, 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 what do you really think you are? Some sort of celebrity? Oh, <laughs> you think you are all that? Or maybe the most handsome man in Nigeria? Oh, baby boy, you are a man. You are a nobody. Trash. So that I don't want to waste my sexy time speaking to this trash. Just poverty. Please make me the car. Just come, let's drive me. Well, I warned you. I told you that I own this town. And you know what? I would make sure I use my connections so you don't get a good job anywhere around here. Now get out. Get out. Oh, you're still standing. You want me to call the police on you, right? No. Uh, get out. There will be no need for that. Sorry. 
get out. And I don't understand things But everyone seems to be strong About this madness About this crazy thing This is insane I don't know how you see things All I know that you see now I cannot do this were you able to get the job? Obviously the answer is no. Why are you doing this to yourself? Look at how frustrated you look. Is this how you want to be trekking all day looking for job? Why are you? Why do you want to go through suffering? You know what to do but you have refused to do the right thing. You are an intelligent man, sleep with your boss and get back your job. That's all, it's as easy as that. You want to go back to poverty? Is that what you want? Have pity on yourself now. You look frustrated and devastated. Gosh! Are you done? Touch my heart and touch my soul Which in my life and all my goals I only need you right to my arms To hold me close I'm far away I'm going far away I'm safe Far away Today is almost over and Joel has not called to tell me that he's ready to grant my request. But everyone seems to be strong About this madness About this crazy thing This is insane I don't know how you see things all I know that you see now I cannot do this Cannot do this Take me away I called you here so we can talk as adults You know what's happening with me I've lost my job They've taken the car And we're about to be evacuated from this apartment I have some money in my account, so I was thinking we get a small apartment <laughs> and then use the rest to start, you know, a little business we can manage. Joe, what is wrong with you? Don't you think? You want to get another apartment when you already have one. Do the needful so we can retain this place. And which little business are you talking about? I hope it's not provisions you're talking about because I, I'm not cut out for it. Is that what you're talking about? It's something like that to manage now. For what? What do you mean? No, for you what? want my friends to laugh at me. You want me to become an object of ridicule. You will sleep with your boss. And listen, you see that money? Don't touch it. That money is for our wedding. That small money remaining, you will not touch it for any apartment. We are using it for our wedding. You know that I am talking about important stuff, and the only thing you can think about. It's wedding. It's important to me. How is that important? What is your problem? Why don't you think? Why don't you have sense? Why don't you reason like every normal man would do? Oh, Why do you sense. think like an animal? You're insulting me. You're you insulting better, me. You better go and sleep with your boss if you want to get that apartment and tell me you will not move. I will not move in with you. We'll see I will that. not. We will see. Excuse me. I'll be right back. My goodness. <laughs> Finally.
Hey, I don't want to testify to this, okay? Let me just get a small apartment for us. It's comfortable. Joy, stop saying this. I'm not interested. You have to be interested. I don't want it. Why? Because I don't want it. Are I'm you... not used to small things. I, I'm used to luxurious life. Why do you want to... Oh, goodness. What do you mean you're not used to small things? Before you got here, where were you coming from? Who will I tell my friends? What about you? Who will I tell them? Who cares about Who will I tell my, 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 Nobody my followers cares on social about media your platforms? Look, look at what you're saying. Your, so, your, your followers? Are you kidding me? All of a sudden, they, they not see me in a small apartment. I, I won't go there. It will not work. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hi, girl. What's up? Hi. So, what's making my girl laugh out loud this morning? I actually heard your voice from outside. What's popping, girl? Gino's women can be very dramatic. Hmm. This one I just got a message from. Who? Twelve, of course. No he way! He sent me a message and is now begging to warm my bed. For real? <laughs> I told you! I told you he will come back begging, didn't I? He did. <laughs> Look, no Nigerian man will resist such offer. It's impossible. A lot of men will do anything just to have you. I told you that guy was just being unnecessarily dramatic. Yeah, he did. And now look at look at how the mighty has fallen. Let me show you the message. <laughs> oh, let's <really> read it. <laughs> Okay. Uh huh. I have thought about what you told me, and I've come to a conclusion of how stupid it is of me to reject your juicy offer. It's a privilege for me to get such an offer, and I am willing to grant your request. I apologize for the delay. <laughs> <laughs> I told you he would come begging, didn't I? Why won't he beg? I mean, where will he get a job better than the one he has here? Do you know what it means to lose your job, a car, and apartment in this country of today? Obviously, he's going to beg. I knew he's going to beg. <laughs> You're right, my darling. It's actually very tough out there. So tell me, what are you going to do now? <laughs> What's your plan? Well, I'm going to invite him to come over to the office. Then we start from there. Oh, then we go to the house. Oh, <laughs> bad girl. Let me tell you, you are such a buddy. <laughs> well, the boss lady get what she wants, uh -huh. and that's a period. You can say that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Why is she calling me? Pick the call. Why? Why should I pick the call? I'm not sleeping with her. You have to sleep with her. Can you stop? Okay, just pick the call and hear what she wants to say. Hello, ma. Hello, Joel. Where are you? I'm home. You're still at home by this time? You should be here by now. Look. If I don't see you here in the next 30 months, I will change my mind. I know amount of begging will make me take you back. Um, okay, uh, okay, uh, I'm on my way. Go. Go and do what? Go and see her. Why is she asking me to come to the office? We both know what she wants, so go and see her. But now. I'm not giving that to her. You need your job. We need to retain this house. Can you stop? What is wrong with you? I will not. Okay, just go. Just go. But I must leave you with her. I won't. I won't sleep with her. Sleep with her.
Boss lady, that's some boss move, God. <laughs> wow. Make me laugh. So you're about to have the best time of your life. So baby girl, I got to go. Joanne yeah, will send the hair. It's not yet. Come on, just. No, 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 no. I have to go. Both of you need some privacy. So I have to go. Thank you. <clears throat> I'm glad you changed your mind. I... Give it to me here, and then we'll finish up in my hotel. Uh, uh, sorry. Are we still on this? I thought you changed your mind, that's why you called me to resume work. What are you talking about? You sent me a message this morning, saying you were ready to grant my request and get your job back. So why are you pretending? Why are you acting up? Wait, I, I, I sent yes, you... Yes, you did. I did not send you any message. Oh, really? I was actually going to look for a new apartment when your call came in. Joe, you sent a message this morning. Apologize. Just wait. What is this? Is this not your number? Didn't you send this message? I am sure Imelda is behind this. How could she set me up like this? So why are you acting up? Joel! Where are you going to? Nonsense. What is wrong with this guy? How can you do this? Why would you set me up like that? Did you have to send that kind of a message to my boss with my phone? What is wrong with you? Sweetheart. I'm sorry. I... I didn't want you to lose your job and this house. You think I'm happy another woman wants to have sex with a man I love? No. I did it for the better men of our tomorrow, all right? So we can be happy, so you, you don't have to experience poverty. I'm so sorry. Forgive me, please. So tell me, how was it? Did you do it with her? Do you have your job now? Hmm? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I did not do anything. Imelda, I have made this clear to you. I am not the type of man that goes about sleeping with other women. I am a man of integrity and principles. I will not share my body and soul with a woman I feel nothing for. Get that in your head. God. What kind of a man is this? Just a one night stand with his boss so he won't lose his job. I don't want to experience poverty. Oh, God, please. Soften his heart. Let him have a change of mind. I mean, what sort of embarrassment is this? What sort of embarrassment is this? 
You mean he left you in that office just like that? I mean, like, who the hell does he think he is? Babe, I think you are the one allowing that idiot to embarrass you. I mean, what, what is even so special about him? Exactly. Look, you will have to go to that apartment this, this evening and kick him out to the street where he belongs. He should be happy that a beautiful girl like you, a beautiful girl like you wants him. Something that other men are craving for, that they would actually kill for. Exactly. Exactly why I'm confused. I have never seen a man full of such integrity all my life. Joel is the kind of man any woman would be blessed to have. I only wanted him in my bed because of his good looks. <laughs> but I am beginning to have some respect for him. His type is real. Integrity. Integrity. His type that sleeps with anything under the skirt. So please, you will have to go to that apartment and teach him a lesson that he will never forget in a hurry. Just kick him out and use your connection to make sure he doesn't get work anywhere else. Do you understand? Sophia, on a serious note, I am so ashamed of myself right now. I have never been rejected by a man all my life. I've always had this belief that men are cheap commodity and you can get them in a blink of an eye. But Joel has proven me wrong. But come to think of it, who sent that message? Who sent that message with his phone that is ready to warm my bed? Who? Are you asking me? Joel, of course! You think so? Yes, he sent that message. If not, who else? Can't you see that this guy is trying to mess with you? He's trying to embarrass you. Go, I just, I, I still cannot believe it. So please, before it's too late, just go there and kick him out. That is exactly what I will do. Mm. I will send the security men down to the apartment to kick him out. What kind of nonsense is that? Exactly. They will do that tomorrow morning. No, no, to, no, no. You are doing that this evening, my darling girl. You will do it this evening. You have to teach him a lesson. In fact, show him who the boss lady is. I mean, how, how is he mad? Just come on. Little tiny feather, he couldn't do you. You're doing it this evening. Sophia, calm down tomorrow morning. What nonsense! Let me give him some time, please. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just tomorrow morning, yes, please. Tomorrow morning, I just want to give him some time. My responsible husband, my darling. Look, I, I know you're doing this because of the love you have for me. You don't want to cheat on me. I know you're a faithful husband to be. But here is me telling you to cheat on me. I'm begging you, sleep with your boss so you can save your job. Right? Hmm? If I do it, what then happens? What if I start and I continue cheating on you? How will our marriage look like? Look, I don't want to have the idea of sleeping around to solve my problems. I don't want to start something that would destroy me. Baby. The only thing that is capable of destroying you is poverty. The consequences of poverty will always be higher than the consequences of cheating. So, cheat on us and give us a good life. Is that how you're going to raise our children? Are you going to advise them to sleep around to solve their problems? Why do I have a feeling if you were in my shoes, you would have given your body to the man without telling me? Wait, hold on. Are you indirectly saying I am not responsible 
Because I'm going to sacrifice anything for us. I am not saying anything. You know, I'm beginning to doubt the woman I want to spend the rest of my life with. You know that this is wrong. Excuse me. What are you doing with my phone? Huh? I hope you did not send another silly message to Linda. Because if I find out you did, she will not like what I'll do to you. How did you get my phone? Ma, I secretly took it from my man's phone. I know this might sound strange. I mean, you'd be wondering why a woman like me would be encouraging her man to sleep with another woman. But I'm aware of everything that is happening. And I don't want him to lose the apartment and his job. I've been actually trying to convince him to sleep with you, but he doesn't want to. He says he doesn't want to hurt me or hurt himself. That he doesn't want to cheat on me. I have tried to make him understand that doing this will not hurt him in any way. It's just a one night stand with you and he will have his job. You mean your Joel's fiance? Yes. And you've been trying to convince your man to sleep with me? Oh my goodness. Who does shall never end? Who does that? Ma, I'm the one who sent that message to you. Yes, I, I don't want him to lose the apartment and the job. Give me time to convince him. I know he will do it with you. I, I've been trying my best and I know very soon it will work. So you called me out here to tell me you've been trying to convince your man to sleep with me and you refused. How is that my business? Listen to me. Your man is very foolish to have rejected me. And I will make him suffer. <sighs> my security men will be coming to that apartment to kick him out of that house. Hey, Excuse me. Ma Mama, please. He hasn't got into that. I'm here for solution. If I may ask, is it just once? Get out of my sight. Ma, ma, please. I have a plan and I believe it will work. God, you I think me far away. God, you are kind. God, you are wonderful, my Lord. You are excellent. Excellent is your name. Oh, excellent is thy power, God, you are wonderful, my Lord, you are excellent, God, you are so good, God, you are kind, God, you are wonderful, my Lord, you are excellent. Baby, what are you celebrating? Excellent is thy name. Excellent is thy power. Ah, baby. baby! See, God is good. You know, I keep telling you that being faithful is always the best. Mm -hmm. Now, come on, let me tell you something. Do you know that I was here and I received a text message from my boss telling me I can resume work on Monday? Mm -hmm. She also apologized for asking me to sleep with her. And that is not all. She also said she's going to increase my salary and give me a huge compensation. Are you serious? Yes, baby. Oh my God, this is good <laughs> news. I'm happy for you. Thank you, thank you. Boy, you should be celebrating this with drinks. Why are you? Know, Why is everyone um, empty? You know, I was praising God. You know, I can't be praising God and be drinking. So, <laughs> I'm praising they will enter the drinking. Baby, I'm so happy for you. You know what? We need to celebrate this with drinks. So let me get you a drink. But before then, mm -hmm. I'll go to the kitchen mm. and make you... Mm. Delicious meal. Mm. Mm. 
<laughs> so I know you're touching my head like this. I'm so happy for you. Thank you. Please, when you're coming back, don't forget that bottle of wine. Okay? Okay. Yes. Ah! Our baby's back! <laughs> oh, God! You are the king of kings, the beginning and the end, the Alpha and Omega. Everything is set. I want to prepare a delicious meal for him so he can have enough energy to do the work. Trust me, 100% as we speak is already in the mood for celebration. You know what? Come to the estate. When you get there, send me a test message. I'll come downstairs and open the gate for you. Amen! Thank you, Mother. Thank you for your support. I'm so grateful. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 Who are you talking to? I was talking to my spiritual mother. You know, when you came back without your car and told me you lost your job, I told her about it and she gave me some prayer points. You know, I'm appreciating her for it. She's been very supportive. She's been praying for me. That's good. Well, why don't you give me a number so I can say thank you to I mean, it was for me, so... Oh, no, that won't be necessary. I already thanked her on your behalf. Oh, okay. But maybe where's the drink now? We're waiting for you. Right behind you. Okay. I can't believe I have this house back as well as my job. God is wonderful. <laughs> You and I know you don't have to drink. Oh, don't worry. I'll surprise you today. You so wait, 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 wait. You surprised me. Uh -huh. When did this one start? Uh, baby, okay, tell me, what is this challenge about? Look, you take 10 of these shots, I'll take 12. <laughs> <laughs> What's funny? If I take 10, you take 12 of mm -hmm. this. Baby, you and I know that you can't do this. Really? Is that what you think? Okay, I will bet it. Yes, obviously. Okay, if you take 10 and I'm not able to take 12, I'll give you 50k. In fact, I'll make it 100,000. But if I'm able to take 12, you will give me 200,000. Deal or no deal? You're serious? Yes. Deal. Let's go. <laughs> I'm afraid for you. Why are you afraid? You can drink this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Baby? Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. Take more. Mm -hmm. Take more. What number is this? Number seven. Seven. <laughs> yes, yeah, you've not done ten yet. Ah, so this is the eighth one. Uh -huh. Okay. Well, let me just hold it out. Eight one. Why? Where are you going? It's tipsy now. We can go in. Okay.
Joel. Joel, what's going on? Joel, Joel, wake up! What's going on? I think he he drank everything and passed out. What nonsense! You invited me here to waste my time. When you realized it was tipsy, you would have taken the drink away from him. I thought you were wise. I thought you were smart. But all of you are dumb. When he wakes up, he will find himself on the streets. Please, 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 please. Please, help us, please. I, I didn't know he was going to take everything when I came to bring you in. Please, we can come up with another idea. What stupid idea? You think I have all the time in the world? It's obvious your man is destined to be in poverty. Hey. Deliver my message to him. Please. Well, I can see you've tried. And because of your efforts, I will give him two more days. Two more days for him to think and do the right thing. Else, he will find himself in poverty. Thank you. For he should all be here to waste my time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey. Joel. Joel. My God, what kind of... What kind of wahala is this? Huh? I'm very sure your village people are at work, oh, because what is this nonsense? Are you destined to be poor? I refuse to go back to poverty. I refuse in Jesus' name. I, I can't even carry you to the room. What is... Oh, God. I'm beginning to pity this young man. Look at what the so-called woman he claimed he loved so much is subjecting him just to have him sleep with me. What if something happens to him as a result of a sense of alcohol? Even God will not forgive me. Joel's only crime is that he has refused to cheat on his woman. He doesn't deserve all these things he is going through. How I wish I had a man like him. Someone who will be this faithful to me. My mother doesn't know what she has. If she does, she will hold him tight. I don't just know why I have strong sexual feelings for that guy. Each time I see him, I just want to climb on him. He's so handsome and intelligent. I'm not even ready for a relationship with him. I just need a good touch and bounce it from him. But I think I just have to give up here. It's a good thing that he will be leaving my company. I don't want to see him anywhere close to me. I need to concentrate. I promise I am not going to drink like that ever again. I thank God today is Sunday and not Monday. How would I have resumed work in this state? <sighs> that reminds me. How did that dream challenge go? I'm sure I won. And you lost. I was losing. Why are you not saying anything? What I'm about to say might get you angry. But what I did, I did it to secure your future. Unfortunately, it didn't work out as planned. What are you talking about? The test message you got from Linda saying you got your job back was fake. What? Yes, it was. I planned it with her so it can put you in a celebration mood. So you can get drunk and sleep with her. She was here yesterday. What did you just say? Linda was here? Are you serious? Wait, so all of this was planned? You got me drunk so she can sleep with me? Linda, are you this desperate and dangerous? Oh my God. 
I oh did, my god. I did it for you. Shut up! No, you shut up. Yes, shut your freaking mouth. Why have you given your ears to the forest? Why can't you see the impending doom ahead of you if you don't secure your job? People kill every day to make money. People steal every day to be successful. Yours is just to sleep with your boss and have a good time. Yet you're funny what I don't know. You couldn't even do it. Wait. I hope I did not sleep with Linda yesterday. Tell me I did not sleep with her. You already passed out when she came. You didn't. Oh, thank you, Lord. It's not about thanking you, Lord. She has given you two days to come around. Else you'll lose your job and this apartment. She said it's your last chance. Well, for your information, I already lost interest in that job. And I'm looking for a new apartment I can afford. I am not going back on my word. So you guys can shove that job in your butt. Now let this sink into your head. This relationship is over. I cannot go back to poverty with you. Since you have decided to lose everything, good luck. I'm leaving you. Nonsense. Melda. Oh, you want, you want me to beg you? You want me to beg you after what you've done? I should beg. What kind of a woman is this? If they ask you why you left your fiancé, would you tell them it's because I refused to sleep with another woman? You already made me an object of ridicule by deciding to choose poverty over posterity. Look, I will not go to the trenches with you. If you're not tired of suffering, I am tired. Baby, baby, listen. I have plans for us. Look, the money left in my account can get an apartment in the local area. And also open a small provision store for you. I will hit the streets and get a job. God, local store. Why are you being unreasonable? Now, why have you decided to embrace poverty? You know what? Thank you for wasting my time. I am done advising you. Mother, I love you so much, and I can't see myself sleeping with another woman. God, don't you get it? Huh? Are you not thinking of tomorrow? What if I sleep with this woman and I start having feelings for her? What then happens to our relationship? Baby, please, be patient with me. We will survive this, I promise you. Okay? Your silly excuses are boring my ears already. Just a one night stand with this woman and we would have saved ourselves all these stories. Hey. I will not embrace poverty the way you have decided to embrace poverty. I will not. I dread it! Look, I will not wait for this company to come and throw us out of this house. I cannot stand the embarrassment. I refuse to be mocked by people. You know what? To stress me, I'm done with this relationship. Goodbye. I'm about to lose everything. I love Imelda so much and I shouldn't let her go. No. Let her go. I can't compromise my standards. I'm not a dog. I can sleep with her because she wants to sleep with me. Take me away. I'm tired. I'm tired of begging your friend. I'm tired of begging him to see reasons for me. Joel has made up his mind to go back to poverty and I'm not ready to go there with him. I'm leaving him for good. You see, you know that it has not gotten to the point of you leaving him. Please just calm down. I'll talk to him. You know, um, Joel has been a faithful guy. He does not want to cheat on his lovely girlfriend. I don't want such faithfulness from him. He's unnecessarily being faithful. He should cheat on me and give me a good life. What is it? And after then, he can be faithful. What is faithfulness without money? Tell me. With faithfulness put food on the table, is he going to pay our wedding bills? 
to you. Know that I understand where you are going to. See, I promise you I'm going to talk to him and I believe he's going to do what you ask him to do. Please, can't we even like this? Let's go inside, please. You better talk to him. You better talk to him. Sure, I will. You don't want to help me. Yeah, no, that please, and I need to excuse me. Bro, what has come over you? You've been my friend since secondary school. And I'm not flattering you when I say I have this high respect where you are. I also. Your parents were the best teachers in our community those days. I'm not surprised about the high morals you uphold. Let me tell you something my dad used to tell me back then. He said, only a wise man pretend to be foolish just to get what he wants. And he went further to explain, a foolish man does not know when to be wise and when to be foolish. See, bro, if not for my intervention, you will allow Emelda to live with her bag. Let me ask you this. Do you really want to lose everything you have, including the woman you love? Huh? You know, you said something that really made me happy. You said we've known each other since secondary school. Exactly. Which means you know me too well. Of course. I don't compromise my standards. Tanya, I love Imelda so much. And it is so difficult for me to sleep with another woman. How is that a bad thing? I, I don't understand. Can, can you hear yourself out? See, let me tell you something. I cheat on my wife on a daily basis. And I'm a good eye on. Tanya, of course. Is it a new thing? It's normal man's life now. How is that normal? I don't understand. See, let me tell you something. Let me tell you about my secret you don't know. Okay? You see that car I bought last month? Yes. Guess who bought that car for me? You bought it yourself? My sugar mommy gave me the money to buy that car. Tell me, you have a sugar mommy? Not ah, even one. Not one? They are uncountable. Jesus. Daniel. Let me tell you something. You see that project I finished last two months? Yes, yes, yes. The new building mm -hmm. I'm building in this town. Yes. She sponsored everything. The same sugar mommy? Exactly. Daniel, why are you doing this now? I don't understand. Don't let your wife hear this one. See, my wife will never find out. That's why I'm a man. But this is bad. You use your sense to do anything you are doing in this life. You're a married man. And I'm you have sorry. sugar mummies. Of course. How? So let me tell you something. We know we are entitled to get married as many women as we want. Right? Do you understand? See, so many men out there are looking for this opportunity you have. Do you know what people do out there to make money? And you have this opportunity on a platter of gold and you don't want to make use of it. Daniel, how are you, my friend? How did we become friends? You are cheating on your wife. Me, I'm not married to Nelda, but I can't cheat. You, you are married and you are cheating on your wife. What are you even saying? Eh? See, the love of your life has given you go ahead to cheat on her. I wish I have someone like her, my older. We ain't gonna have your own go. Look at you. They give you this as a platter of gold. I, 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 you are doing it now. Be wise, oh. I am telling you. Can you imagine what you are doing to yourself? Tell me what you are telling me is nonsense. How can I imagine? What are you even saying? I should go and cheat. Because you... you I, are you sure you are a man? No. I am not a man. I am a woman. I can see. You're very stupid. That's what you are. You are very, very stupid to ask me that. Look at little opportunity you have that you're going to use. It's not even a, a difficult task. It's a juicy one for that matter. And you don't want to utilize it. You're here waiting for manners to fall from heaven. Let me tell you something. 
the day Emelda will change their mind again, you will know that life is not fair. I'm telling you so this. Daniel, so all these things you have is sugar mommy's money. Of course. And here I was thinking that you bought that car and you built that house yourself. No, no, it's not even your money. That's what I call achievement. Achievement? Yes. What's to be the achievement? With people's money. Let me ask you. What have you achieved in this life you are living? Me? Yes. I have half plot now. Half plot? You see, I'm done. Just think about what I just told you now. It's left for you to decide. Like I said before, if you come begging me for money, I'm not giving you one night because I work hard to earn my money. So you better do the same. Now you're threatening me. It's not a threat. Nothing will happen to you, okay? Thank you for accepting to do this for us. I love you so much. Thank you. I might not come back tonight. It's okay. You can stay three days if you want to. It doesn't matter. Look, what matters is you having back your job, you know, having back your house, and most importantly, our dream wedding. That's all you care about. Wedding, wedding, wedding. You're not thinking about the possible consequences of this action. May God help you. Amen. I'll be right back. Make sure you give it to her very hot. You know you're a very strong man. Down here is very heavy. I want her to feel it. You're a man, okay? Thank you. She will enjoy you. I know. You're so shameless. Finally, I'm going to have my dream wedding. Finally, he's going to get back his job. And everything will be smooth. Yes, yes, yes! Everyone seems to be strong About this mad thing About this crazy thing This is insane I don't know how you see things But I know that you see now I cannot do this, cannot do this Take me away Take me away Stop! I can see it in your eyes You're not ready Please put on your clothes I don't have a choice the woman I'm staying faithful for has vowed to leave me if I don't do this and get my job back. What? You mean she threatened to leave you? Yes. She almost left today. Took the intervention of my friend to make her stay. I, 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 don't, I don't want to lose her. Can we just do this? Please don't. We can't do this. Put on your clothes. Why? You said it's just for a night. You've always wanted this. Let's just do it so I can have my job, the car, and the apartment back. Look, I love my woman so much. And I can validate one of my sacred rules for her. Why do you call it sacred rules? Because I promise never to cheat on the woman I fall in love with. But if breaking this vow is going to make her stay, I will do it. 
Please. Something can't tell you. I can't let you do this. I can't let you do this. Can we just do this? No, don't. We don't have to do this. I don't want to be the reason you break your vows. Please put on your clothes, please. But I'm ready. Let's let's just get this over with. Please. Please. We can't do this. Wait. Wait. What is wrong with them? I don't know. I can't lose my girlfriend. Boss. Ma? Why am I feeling guilty? What kind of a man is Joel? His words weakens me. I thought this was what you've always wanted. Why the sudden change of mind? Do you want me to lose everything? Please, I have decided to settle this problem once and for all. Can we just go upstairs and do this thing? Yeah? I should sit. Let's talk. Joel, I am sorry. I want to deeply apologize for everything. It is wrong. I have been doing this with other guys, but you are different. You are rare. You are a man of integrity and it would be so selfish of me to turn into what you are not. I feel so ashamed of myself right now. Joe, you are a good man. A faithful one at that. And I hope your woman is aware that she has a treasure as a man. I am sorry for everything. I have decided to give you back your job, yeah. the car, and the apartment. And I will also increase your salary as compensation. Oh my God. Joel, I'm so sorry. Ah, wait, wait. You are a good man. Madam, you give me my job back. Yes. The car? Yeah. The apartment? Everything. Oh my God, thank you. Thank you so much. God bless you. God will bless you. I, 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 I appreciate this. I wait. I, I didn't see this coming. Joel, ah. Please have your seat. Thank you. God bless you. Hey. God bless you. You're welcome. Hey, I have my job back. I have learned a lot from what just happened. Good men still exist. You've given me the reason to give love a second chance. I've had terrible past experience with men. This made me give up on love. Some of the men even went as far as sleeping with my friends and relatives. So I decided to sleep with any man I find attractive and not take them serious. Well, I am sorry. I am sorry for everything. I now understand where all of this is coming from. And I'm so sorry about your past. But it is time for you to move on. Move on from your past experiences with men. Shake it off. Face the future with an exciting hope that a good man will approach you and treat you like a queen. It's okay. Stop crying. It's okay. It's okay. 
And I don't understand things But everyone seems to be strong About this mad man About this crazy thing This is insane I don't know how you see things All I know that you see now I can know do things Can know She's sleeping. I need to carry her to her room. What a wonderful soul. This is why it's good to find out the reason behind people's actions before judging them harshly. Linda sees men as sex toys because of her past experiences with them. I pray she overcomes this emotional trauma and starts a fresh life for herself. Did I disappoint you or let you down? You should be feeling guilty, don't let the judges fall. Oh, 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 oh. You touch my heart and touch my soul. You change my life and all my goals. I only need you right to my arms to hold me. Far away, I'm going far away. I'm saying, far away. Really? He's not back to the room yet. I was actually tidying up before I leave, just to say thank you for giving me back my job without asking for anything. Uh, you don't have to do that. You are my employee and not my maid. You've thanked me enough, and it was wrong for me to have asked you to sleep with me because you work for me. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, it's, it's okay, madam. I, it's all in the past now. You don't have to call me madam. We are friends now. By the way, what happened last night? Oh. I can't remember going up to my room. Last night was very emotional for you. You actually cried all through and slept in my arms. I had to carry you upstairs to your bedroom. Uh, that's so nice of you. <laughs> <Stop>. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I really appreciate it. It's okay. It's fine, madam. Oh, can you just stop calling me madame? You can call me dear or something. Okay, ma'am. Oh, sorry. Dear. Okay, friend. Friend. <laughs> Better. Okay, friend. <laughs> Take. You can have your car key back. Ah. 
Madam, sorry, French. Thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless you. I pray that God will give you a man that will let you forget your past memories with men. Amen. <laughs> ah, my car. <laughs> ah. gets married to him will be the luckiest woman on earth. Do you know nothing happened throughout his stay yesterday? Wait. What are you talking about? You mean both of you spent a whole night together and nothing happened? No. Something actually happened. Aha! Uh -huh, I said it! Now you're talking, please. No, Just no, me. How no, did no, it no. go? How was it? We didn't make out. Huh? It was a reconfiguration of my mindset. His presence gave me instant healing from the pains of my past relationship. Sophie had rejected several suitors. Because of my horrible past experience with men, I have lived a life full of hate for men. I only approach the ones I find attractive, and after that I push them away. But Joel has proven me wrong. Now I know better. I know there are still men out there that are ready to endure everything and anything just to be faithful to their women. Well, girl. Sophia, I am ready to give love a chance. And, and I pray I find someone like Joel. Someone that will love and care for me no matter what. Well, I don't really know what happened between both of you last night. But from the way you sound, it's obvious that um, a psychological healing happened here last night. You know, I've always kicked against this, your lifestyle of sleeping with different men without letting them into your life. I've never liked your idea of rejecting suitors. But now that you have finally found a reason to change, I am so happy for you, girl. I am truly happy. Wow. God truly works in mysterious ways. God is wonderful. The same man you wanted to sack and make him lose everything is the one who has brought about this change. I mean, girl, he has changed your whole narrative about men and relationship and all that. I'm truly happy. I'm happy. God is wonderful. You God can say is that wonderful. Do you know I have tried everything to heal from my past but also no avail? But you see the singular act of Joel refusing to cheat on his woman? It has triggered a fast feeling in me and I have moved on. I am ready to give love a chance. Oh. This is a new me <laughs> and a new life. Wow. So you are no longer the bad girl I used to know. No more bad shit. No. Oh my God, God is truly wonderful. Hallelujah! <laughs> Cheers, baby girl. <laughs> oh gosh. How did it go? 
Hey, did you enjoy it? Talk to me now. Just one night stand, and you're acting like you didn't enjoy it. Can you just stop it? Stop it! Don't you feel ashamed saying all these things? Wait. Do you do this behind my back because I don't understand why it seems like nothing to you? Wait, hold on. Are you indirectly calling me a whore? Wait, stop making me feel like I'm a bad person because I'm not. Nobody's a saint. You are not a saint either. What is it? Just a simple question. Did you enjoy it or not? Well, I'm sorry to disappoint you. Nothing happened. You're lying. How can you say nothing happened? Linda has been dying to see you and all of a sudden she sees you and she will let you go just like that. Wait. Is he saying the truth? No. No. Linda that I know will never let him go. Somebody's lying. So, bro, how did it go last night? I know she was screaming your name, asking you for more. I know you handled that professionally. If not, I don't think you'll come back with the car. So, tell me, what kind of style did you do to that? Is he monkey style? Snake style or cow leg style? What kind of style is that? I'm still imagining that kind of style that I made her to give you your car and even the job you've been looking for. So tell me, what kind of style is that? What style are you talking about? Well, for your information, nothing happened. Daniel, I keep telling you that faithfulness and integrity pays. A man of principle will always attract great things in life. It might be challenging, but at the end, people will appreciate you. See, I don't understand what you're saying. This woman wants you by all means. Like she wants to be with you. And you went to her house, you even slept there. And you're here telling me nothing at all. Do you think I'm a baby or something? She said me refusing to cheat on my woman changed her perception about me. She realized I didn't want to do it. And that I was being forced to do something against my will. That's why she stopped me from taking off my clothes. And that is how I got my job back. I don't really understand this. So. See, look, this is not the first time I'm noticing this from you. Why is it that anytime you're in a relationship, you like being faithful in that relationship? You don't want to date any other person. Even when we were in school, if you're dating a girl, it's the only that girl you're going to date, nobody else. Does it mean your manhood does not work in any other case or something? Daniel, I was brought up in a good and godly home. And I have disciplined myself not to sleep with random women. Can we change the topic? See, if I were you, I won't miss the opportunity to sleep. Hey. I'm telling you. Stop. What do you want to drink? I have my job back. Anything. See, give me that with my friend. Look at you. Yes, so stop it, stop, stop it. About this crazy thing. Linda gave me back my car and job all for free. She even increased my salary. She was never a bad person. It's a past relationship with men that messed her up. I'm glad being faithful was able to give her another perception about men. Baby. Babe. See this beautiful wedding gown I saw? It's so classy. I think we should patronize them. Babe? What is going on? Joel doesn't want to have anything to do with me again in this house. What is happening? I still doubt if nothing happened there. Because ever since he came back, he's been behaving strange to me. You touched my heart and touched my soul. You changed my life and all my goals. I only need you right Are you enjoying it? 
sure I am. And you? I am actually enjoying your presence. Is he beginning to develop feelings for me? I think I am falling in love with him too. But he has a woman he loves so much. Joel can't love another woman the way he loves any other. Are you okay? Hey. Oh. You did not say anything. <laughs> yes, I'm okay. I said I'm enjoying your presence. <sighs> Same here. Really? Yeah. Hmm. How I wish she would just say yes to me when I finally propose to her. She has consumed my thoughts. But why am I suddenly developing feelings for her? Is it because I just discovered she has a good heart? The feeling is getting so strong, I don't even want her to leave my sight anymore. Why is Joel doing this to me? The plan was to sleep with this woman for just one night and get back his job. But right now, I think he's getting attached to this woman. Oh God, I'm about to lose my mind. God, please, 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 I don't want to lose him. You hardly gives me attention. He doesn't care about me anymore. What have I done to myself? What have I done to myself? Oh, please. I'm sorry, Joel. I'm sorry. I thought I was doing the right thing. Oh, God. Oh. Let her not take him away from me. things continue to happen in your life. <laughs> you are so special and I cherish you so much. Joel, you mean you did this? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you so much. I can't remember the last time you got gifts. Thank you. Well, you deserve the best. I got all of this because I just wanted to appreciate you. Thank you so much. Come here. You're welcome. But why are you doing all this? I think you need to stop because I'm beginning to fall in. Oh, sorry. No, no, Never mind. Hey, there's nothing to be sorry about. Why don't you finish that statement? You've fallen in love with me. Don't fight it. Let it flow effortlessly. I always think about you, Linda. And I have fallen deeply in love with you. What about your fiancé? Are you doing this out of pity? Is it because of my past experience I told you about? No. What I feel for you is real love. A woman who knows the worth of a responsible man deserves one. Nina, let me love you right, okay? Let me give you that genuine love that was denied in the past. Oh, no. no. 
go back to your fiance. I don't want to be heartbroken again. Please. Please. back to your fiancé. You can't love me more than you love her. Can you please at least let me in? Joe, please go back to your fiancé. Forgive her for pushing you to me. I know you're angry and that's why you're doing all of this to spite her. Please go. She doesn't deserve me. She knows nothing about faithfulness and I don't need such a woman in my life. Joe, you are a good man and you are every woman's dream. Fine. I know I have started developing feelings for you, but I don't want to be the reason for another woman's tears. Whatever issue the both of you are having now, I caused it. And I don't want to escalate it. Please, go! What I feel for you is real and true. Okay? I love you so much and I am not doing this because of revenge. Let's, let's start a new life together. Please. Joe, just go. Go, oh, please. Linda. We can't walk. It, it can't walk. Linda, wait, hold on. Linda, wait. Lin Linda. Linda, please open this door. Linda. Linda, I, I love you. We can't. Please go away. Go. So you, you, to take you, you did not cost. He did not cost this. What about what you feel for me? Linda. Linda, please open this door. I'm not going anywhere until you open this door. Linda! His phone is switched off. Why is this man doing this to me? This woman should just leave my man alone for me. Oh my goodness, what have I gotten myself into? <sighs> is he with her? This is insane. I don't know how you see things, but I know that you see now. I can now do this. Can now do this. Take me away. Take me away. To your woman, please. I told you I was not leaving until you opened the door. 
I have come to love you so much. True love is not enough. We must consider what's at stake. You were in good terms with your woman before I came into the picture. I caused all of this. I caused all of the confusion you're having with her. Accepting your request would be so inhuman of me. Fine, I knew it was wrong for your fiancé to have asked you to sleep with me just to get favor. But she did that out of love. No. Please go back to her. No. She did that for her own selfish reason. She wants a big wedding. That's why she kept pushing me to sleep with you to get my job back. So I can be able to afford a wedding. She doesn't know what love is all about. Then teach your fiancé how to love and how to be principled. Joel, I love my new life. I love the new life that I'm living right now. So please, go back to your woman, please. I'll give you time to think about it. I don't care how long it's going to take. I'll wait. Jesus. I said this for me. Please. Happy birthday once again. And I pray in your next birthday you're going to celebrate as love. Take me away. Take me away. I believe that one day I will get what I want in a right way. Now the wrong. Did I disappoint you? Or let you down You should be feeling guilty I let the judges fall oh, 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 oh. Oh. Touch my soul Reaching my life and no my goals My love, what is going on? You have refused to make love to me for a while now. Is that you don't find me attractive anymore? What's the problem? Talk to me, please. Don't touch me. I already told you it's over between us. Please. It cannot be over between us. I still love you so much. Look, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry I, I pushed you into the hands of another woman. I'm really sorry. You know what? The apartment you said you rented, I'm ready to go there now. The provision store you said you were going to get for me. I'm ready. Please stop, stop working for Linda. Let her have back her car and her apartment. I don't care anymore. She's trying to take you away from me, can't you see? Look, I have one million naira in my account. We can add the money to the one you have and start up a business. A little business, we can start up from there. Okay, please. Imelda, it is too late. I'm done. You want to go back to poverty with me? When I came up with this plan, what did you tell me? You told me to my face that you are not ready to go back to poverty with me. So now, what are you saying? Huh? It is too late. I'm sorry. I cannot quit my job. Please. I said I... Please. Please. Do it. Don't touch me! I'm going to sell some of my belongings, my jewelry and my human hair that are inside this bag. I want to sell them so we can be able to raise some money, start up a business. I believe if I sell them, 
it will be up to six point something million naira. I want you to quit your job so we can use this money and start up a very good business for you. Imelda, I have not asked you to raise money for me. Whatever you sell is none of my business. Why are you wasting your time? Yes, why are you wasting your time in this house? I don't love you anymore. So can you just leave so that Linda will, you know, accept me? How do you think that you want to go and sell your things? If you sell your things for who? For me. I have not sent you. Okay, I I'm going now to so try my best. Expect the money in your account. Do not send any money to my account. I have told you. Stop wasting your time. Now she wants to behave like a wife material. It's too late. of my deeds. No woman should push a man into temptation no matter what. I pushed you into the hands of another woman. You messed up big time. I'm sorry. Please, forgive me. Look, Linda. Please, forgive me. I learned my lessons the hard way. I'm sorry. Look, um, you know that I must commend you for this, but it's just unfortunate it came late. I've already made up my mind to leave. Don't do this to me, please. Like I said, I regret my actions. I don't know what I'll do without you. Baby, we've made enough money. This money is enough to start up a business, okay? We will be fine with this money. I'm so sorry. Please. You see this money you're bragging about? I'll transfer it back to you. I don't need it. Please don't do this to me. Joel, Joel. I've ruined my life. I've ruined my life. God. Where do I start from here? I lost a good man. God, please, please let him change his mind. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was not a good woman. I regret my actions. Touch his heart so he can come back to me. God, touch his heart, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh! Talk to your friend. I love him so much, but right now he doesn't want to see me. I've done everything to get his attention, but it's not working. He said I'm, I'm an irresponsible woman. He said he doesn't trust me anymore. That he cannot marry a woman who encouraged him to sleep with his boss. I don't know what to do. I, God. Amanda, it's okay. You know I can sort this out. Okay. Um, you know that nothing goes for nothing. You understand what I mean? I understand what you mean, but 
Let's sort this challenge out for us, then we can go to the hotel. Look, I love my man so much. I would do anything to keep him. See, I am promising you that after we are done doing this, we will sort it out, okay? See, I really want to have you right now. Like, we will do it fast. Let's make it quickly, okay? After that, I promise you I will talk to you now and you will stop seeing me as an irresponsible man. Are you sure he will listen to you the second time? Why not? He oh, listened to me the first time, so why won't he listen to me the second time? He's going to listen to me, okay? Just... What if it backfires? Ah, nothing is going to backfire. The first one did backfire, so why would this one backfire? Okay, it's God. not possible. God. You just <sighs> do something to me. After that, everything is okay. You come back to me, it's a promise. Look, we can't do anything. Let's just, just go to your room. Oh, God. Could you do this to me? I knew you melt up. You have always believed sex solves everything. That's why you agreed to sleep with my friend to talk to me. Now do you see the consequences? Do you see it? Come on, why are you going? brought in another man into your house and they made out in your bedroom. Jeez! A woman you sacrificed so much for. You almost lost your job because you wanted to be faithful to her. And now this? After everything I did for her. This is how she pays me back? After all the sacrifices? And the man in this video is actually married and my childhood friend. What? Yes. I just... Look at this embarrassment. It's okay. It's a shame on her and not on you. It's okay, stop crying. Wow, <laughs> 
And you have been there, consoling and encouraging me to pick myself up and continue with my life. Thank you for seeing me through the heartbreak. You're welcome. Your calls and messages did some magic. <laughs> You're welcome. And I don't want you to handle your abuse the same way I did. And I don't want you to start seeing women as cheat. <laughs> That's why I sent you that book to read. You know, the issue of cheating shouldn't be generalized. Mm. When someone breaks your heart, you don't say everyone is like that. True. Yeah. Such illogical generalization of cheating is the reason why so many people have given up on love. True. Well, um, can you do me a favor? Sure, what's that? Okay. Marry me. <laughs> Just say yes. What? Are you joking or something? My knees are on the ground, so of course I'm serious. <laughs> Look, let's build a beautiful life together. I love you so much and I want you to be mine because I believe you and I can make a good home as husband and wife. So just say yes so I can put this ring in your finger and get off my knees. <laughs> yes. Yes? I will marry you. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. This is it. I don't understand this. But everyone seems to be strong about this madness, about this crazy thing. This is insane. I don't know how you see things. All I know that you see now, I cannot. 